are discussing some short notes from microbiology. The first question is actinomycosis. So whenever we are answering a question based on infectious diseases, it would be always better to answer it under certain headings like what is the type of the disease, uh, what is the causative agent, what is the mode of infection, what is the site or area of infection, the pathogenesis and clinical presentation of that disease, and finally, how we diagnose and treat that particular disease. As dental students, we should also consider oral manifestation and dental manifestations of that particular disease if any present. Moving on to the first question, actinomycosis. Actinomycosis is a chronic granulomatous disease. And the major co causative agent of this disease is actinomyces israeli. And it can be caused by certain other agents like actinomyces neslundi, actinomyces odentolyticum, actinomyces viscosis. And usually this actinomyces species is found as a common commensal in human body. Actinomycosis has four clinical forms. First one is cervicofacial, then thoracic, abdominal and pelvic. In cervicofacial form, we can find indurated lesions in cheeks and submaxillary area. And in thoracic form, it usually infects the lungs and it, which may involve pleura and pericardium. In abdominal form, it will infect cecum, the surrounding tissues and abdominal wall. And in pelvic form, it is always seen in association with the use of intrauterine devices. Moving on to the clinical features. This disease is presented as indurated swelling and commonly found in the connective tissue. We can see suppuration and sulfur granules associated with this particular disease. And this is always, always it will point towards the skin and we can see multiple sinus also. Dentally, it is inscriminated in all type of inflammatory gum diseases like gingivitis, periodontitis, etc. And also in sublingual plague and which may cause root surface caries. The specimen which we commonly collect are pus, tissue and sputum. On gross examination, we will collect the pus in a test tube and we will mix it with saline. Then we will shake it and we can find sulfur granules. And on standing, these sulfur granules will sediment. And the sulfur granules are usually white or yellow in color. On microscopic examination, we will do the gram staining. On gram staining, we can see dense network of thin gram positive filaments. And this will be surrounded by peripheral sound of swollen, radiating and club shaped structures. And this will give a sun ray appearance. Usually, the club is considered as antigen antibody complex. Finally, the treatment for the disease. Usually, we will treat any kind of infectious diseases with antibiotics. So, here the drug of choice is penicillin and tetracycline. And also, surgical drainage and excision of the lesion also is done. Thank you.